Hi, you're with Chandeep at Goodly once again, and in this video, I'm gonna talk about how do you do an Excel-like sum if, but using Power Query. Now, I've spoken about this problem earlier on the YouTube channel. What is different this time is that we're gonna try and do the sum if between two different tables, and we'll also take a look at the scenario where you have to not just do a sum if based on a single condition, but a sum ifs function based on multiple conditions. Let's just get started. Okay, so I'm working with two very simple data sets here. There is a full table which contains the date column, the name of the person column, the value column and the location column and then there is a small summary table here which is where I have just got two columns the guys column and the location column and this is where I have to actually write a sum if function which is where I will take the two conditions I will take the name of the person I will take the location of the person and then I will filter out all the values that match the name and the location and sum all the values keep it right here and so on and so forth I have to do it for everybody but this is something that we're trying to do it in using power query now you can see that we have two different tables here we have this table and we have this table now these two tables can come from two different places two different excel files two different data sources and let's just try to see that can we actually perform a sum if between two different tables or not so to begin with we will load the data into power query and just take it from there so i will click on the name of the table go to the data tab and then click from table range and the table actually comes into power query i'm going to do that for the other table as well so why don't we actually close and load close and load two and do not load the table into excel i'm just going to make a connection only and say okay and this just gets as a connection. I'm gonna do that for the other table as well. So click on this table, go to the data tab, and then from table range, and this is the table where I actually have to work. Now I'll start to build a couple of fundamentals so that even if you're trying to solve for a slightly different problem, you're able to understand what's going on and then you can modify the solution as per your need. All right, so first let's just try to get the entire table here. So without any filters. So I'm currently working in the summary table, which is where I have to write a sum if function here that totals for the name of the person and the location of the person and you start seeing that value here. Before I do that, let's just do some groundwork to understand some things. So I'm just going to go to the add columns tab and create a custom column in the custom column I'm going to write a small formula and the name is immaterial so I'm just going to leave it out as custom and what I will do is I'll say equals to and I'll refer this entire table so I'll just refer to the all data table and I'll press ok and let's just see what we get here so you can see that once I refer this column to the all data table you can see that I get the entire table here which is absolutely unfiltered you can see that against a and against the location of east I'm actually getting everybody here so all the names here all the locations here and I get everybody here now this is the table that I actually have to filter which is formed here by the name of the person and by the location of the person this is something that I have to actually filter all right next what we do is we try to build our formula further and try to apply a filter onto this table which is where I will say hey why don't you pick up this table which is captured inside of a single cell and apply two filters on top of that the name of the person and the location of the person so I will just go ahead and revise my formula and maybe I can just call it as sum if now and I'm just going to use a function called table.selectRows. Now table.selectRows is the function that gets generated once you apply filters onto your data. So I'm going to use the same function, but this time I will manually type it out the filters that I'd like to apply. All right. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to filter all of this table, this table, this table, this table. I'd like to filter all of these tables, but the conditions that I'd like to pick up are there in the guys column and the location column. So how do I actually pick up the column of the name here and then pick up another column of location here? This table is nested by the way, it's kind of packed inside a single cell. So how do I pick up this table and not only pick up the table, but also pick up the name column here and the location column here and apply this filter and this filter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna declare a small variable here and I'm gonna say that I'm just trying to work with the inner table. That's the variable and I create a function and in the function, I will say this inner table, which is captured inside the single cell here, I'm trying to pick up the column of names and that name should be equal to the guys column here, right? So that's the filter. And let's just kind of close the bracket here and say, okay, let's just see what we get. We again get a table. If I just maybe click on the side of the table, you can see that first filter is actually applied. I can now see that the earlier table that I 
had, which was the full table, I'm actually be able to take a look at this particular column, the names column and apply a filter, which is the first value in the guys column. Let's just apply two filters on this particular table. So I'm just going to come back here and write my second filter. And I'm just going to say the and function. And I'm just going to move to the next row and say that again in the inner table, I am trying to now refer to the location column and the inner table location, which is this particular location should actually match with the this location. So I'm just going to say equals to location. All right. And let's just see what we get now. So I'm just going to say, OK, and this is a table and I just maybe get a and location of east. That is what I have it as a condition. But as of now, we have not really done a sum if as of now, we still have a filter table from this filter table. I'd like to pick up all the values here and sum them all up. Right. So from this table, I'd like to extract only a single column, which is the value column. How do I actually do that? I click on the gear icon here. This function that I'm trying to create is giving me a full table from the full table. I'd like to extract only the value column. This actually gives me a table and from this table, I need a value column and I'm just going to say, okay. And what this is going to do is this is actually going to convert the entire table into a list, because if you try to extract one column of the entire table, it becomes as a list. List is nothing but one column in the table, right? So I get all the lists which are filtered and all that I need to do is sum all of this up. So I'm just going to come back to my formula here. And I'm just going to say that now this entire thing is giving me a list and I need to sum the list. So all that I will do is write a formula called list dot sum and wrap this entire thing around list dot sum. And we are just good to go and say, okay. And that is nothing but your sum. If we can certainly go back to the home tab, say close and load, and that data gets loaded back into my Excel. All right, that was how a sum if is done with two conditions. You can also do it with a single condition if you want. And if I now change any of these locations, maybe also make that as east and just refresh my table, right click and say refresh. Now this is going to be revised to all the east values right here that actually match the two conditions that I just inputted. All right, that was all about how to do a sum if between two different tables, but using Power Query. If you have any questions around this, please feel free to put them down in the comments and I'll be glad to reply. Also a side note about my Power Query course, if you'd like to learn building sufficient sophisticated queries to solve a lot of automation problems, data manipulation problems in your Excel, head over to my course page, check out the course is going to be extremely beneficial. If you have any questions, please put them down in the comments and I'll be glad to reply. Thanks so much for watching this and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.